Santa Vlog. Name is Santa Vlog. Hey y'all. Ooh. Hey. Ah. Uh. My eye looking. It's looking alright. I look at it. Still. Oh, I still haven't took this lash off. But whatever. But. Hey. I had to give thanks to y'all because y'all helped me a lot. Had it not been for y'all, I wouldn't have went to the eye doctor. I wouldn't have known it was eye doctors. I went to the eye doctor. I got, as y'all can saw my vlog yesterday, they put me on, what is it? Steroid eye drops. They said that what's causing it and maybe irritation is the oxygen. Go figure. Um, so I, I still need to buy my eyes moisturized. The paper is in my purse. I will be going to Walgreens or Walmart to do that. I don't want me around people because they said it might be contagious. But I'm just like, look, what is it? But I think something was wrong with that man. But anyways, I'm about to get ready to go to the doctor. I'm not happy about that because... You know, we still need to see what's going on with this potassium. I'm still going to tell him a piece of my mind because I still don't like the way they do business. So, I literally yeah. keep dropping stuff. I just spilled a whole bottle of water. Thankfully, it was in the restroom. I need to keep my tops on my, my water. Yeah. You need to get your life together gonna go now Whew. i already got my tank so full oh, what's this a letter in the door some sub meter maintenance just letting us know that somebody will be here on thursday okay guys so i am here with a little bit to spare i don't know what time it is because i can't look at my phone because i'm vlogging from my phone but um i'm about to get ready to go in now i am going to take both of my tanks because look we can't be running out of oxygen so yeah i'm going to go ahead and take both of them inside and i just saw um the doctor he just came so maybe he's getting ready for my appointment. It's for 2 o'clock p.m. So I'm about to get out and go sign in now. Hopefully I'm not in there alone. Usually it's not long. He just looks over um, the blood work that I did the other day. And that's it. I'm just, you know, going to ask him about the potassium. How much should I stay on since there were no definite answers? Um from when I got the hospital things like that and yeah so I just came from the restroom I had to go but I'm waiting to be called now it's 2-11 so hopefully they call me soon I almost need to switch to the other tank so I need to find me one cute doctor if I can find me one cute doctor I don't think we would mind going to our appointments right how you feeling I feel all right okay so I know, you know, you're seeing this with the low potassium. Um, and before, when you first came in a few months, we had some cramps and things like that. Are those better now? Or are you still having cramps? They're a little better. They're a little better, but you're still having them? Mm-hmm. Were you having the... Because I know we, we decreased, or Dr. Reed did, he decreased the amount of potassium you were taking a few months ago. Um, have you noticed a change in your symptoms in that, since then? Since he decreased them? Yeah. I was in the hospital. Okay. September the nineteenth to like the twenty eighth. Uh huh. I was very very weak and tired and stuff. Oh yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. 
All right. And, but my potassium is still, because they took me off of potassium. I don't know why. Like, that's why I can talk to Dr. Reed about. But they took me off of potassium at the hospital per my discharge letters oh, and stuff okay. like that. And so, you know, I've been back to the doctor since, and my potassium is low. It was like 3.3, something like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. And so I put myself back on potassium. So right now I put myself back on. I'm taking 20 a day. You take only 20 a day? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And that's in September? Uh-huh. A few days there in the hospital? About a week and a half. A week and a half? Did they give you any antibiotics? Yeah, IV antibiotics. So they think you had like a lung infection? Something like that. They said they saw something on the chest x-ray. And right. um, they said that my potassium was good while I was in there. Mm-hmm. So they said discontinue the potassium, but then... Well, it was probably good because you were on the potassium when you first got there. Uh, yeah, but you know? they wasn't giving me any. Oh, they weren't. And then I was asking them about it, and then they was like, no, your potassium is good. But then when I got out of the hospital, I started feeling, like, bad again. So mm-hmm. I put myself back on the potassium. And you're feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well I'll take a look. Were you at Methodist? Mm-hmm. I'm going to look back in the computer and see what, 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 you know, what your numbers were in September at that time when you weren't on it. Uh, you were in prednisone for a long time? Yeah. Yeah. For how long? The whole time I've had been diagnosed with lupus, um, seven to eight years. <clears throat> okay. okay. Did you get a haircut? Yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is, is it look that different? No, it still looks the same. <laughs> yeah. I did lose that. Just one. cleaner and sharper. Yeah, yeah. I go every two weeks, you know. So. <laughs> but it's probably been a while since I saw you. We still, me and Dr. Reed, we still don't have a really good idea of what's causing the low potassium. There, you know, it could be the prednisone. Uh-huh. You're on a very small dose, 10 milligrams. But again, everyone responds to medications differently at the same time. So, I mean, it could be the prednisone that's causing low potassium, but, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to fix the low potassium by just taking it. Uh, we don't want to take you off the prednisone because of the SLE and all of that, right? The mm-hmm. lupus. Yeah. That's the cute doctor from last time. Okay, so we all know lupus makes you tired, but on top of lupus, I have a lung disease, which it's like a full-time job just trying to breathe, so that makes me tired also, so I think I came to the conclusion that's why I'm tired all the time. Lupus plus a lung disease, when you're constantly trying to breathe, You know, you just get tired. And so that's why I just be feeling like that. You know, I'm just so tired all the time. Like, I'm sleepy right now. And I don't, and I slept a full eight hours. Well, I did wake up at four o'clock in the morning. So be patient. I haven't even ate yet. Let me just try it. You know how you start shaking? and back and forth as well is it's not really entirely obvious why your potassium you mean your potassium is doing this going up and right. down and up and down and we've run a bunch of tests you know all the urine collection tests that you've done we've run specialized blood tests and sometimes there's a hormone that can cause you to lose potassium in your kidneys that hormone was not elevated in other words it's not the hormone mm-hmm. uh, and your blood pressure has been if anything <coughs> on the low to, to, to normal range. Right. So it's not like you have a high blood pressure disease. Some high blood pressure diseases can result in low potassium as well. Um, what so about um, the pulmonary hypertension? Because that is, I do have that. You do have the pulmonary hypertension. That's a correct. And so I don't know whether this is somehow related to the pulmonary hypertension. Uh-huh. Um, the other thing that we thought about is, you know, I know, you're, you know your weight is stable at this point, I think, but... The other possibility is that sometimes when people really are not eating a whole lot, whether because they're chronically ill with a disease such as pulmonary hypertension, so um, they're, you know, people who are healthy eat a lot of food, and people who are not so healthy, they're not taking in as many calories. And it's possible that your intake of potassium is re- really not that great, mm-hmm. and then that there may be some sort of shift. So another reason for the potassium level to swing back and forth is if what's called the shift phenomenon, which is 
uh, certain medications, albuterol, the inhalers, and I know you, you told me you take, and I think our suggestion is gonna be, don't stop it. You know, I know they stopped it in the hospital because it was normal back then, but even if it's normal, <clears throat> I would say keep taking it. And I think the only time we're gonna be able to stop it is if it's high. In other words, if your potassium result comes back that it's five or over five, then we can talk about stopping the potassium. And I'm hoping, I really truly am, uh, is that after your lung transplant, because this is all in preparation for you having a lung transplant, correct? Right. Is after your lung transplant, we'll be able to stop the potassium. I think your potassium is going to become normal after transplant. It probably, yeah, that's what they say about everything. Yeah. Are you okay? You look a little frazzled, like kind of. No, I'm just ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> get, get the transplant done and over with. You mean, is that what you mean? or? No, leave here. Maybe. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. We want you to eat because that's going to help with the potassium, okay? So let me just listen to your lungs. And... Any questions? I do. Like, okay. I, I, your doctor's um, office, I'm yes. having some issues. Like, Tell me. Um, one, when I call up here, mm -hmm. I get the merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. And then the line just hangs up, so I have to keep calling back. And then they didn't, I was supposed to get some blood work. Well, I did get it. And they didn't even have it faxed. And she called me a day ahead of time. And I'm waiting. And I'm on oxygen. So I ran out of oxygen there. And it's just You ran out of oxygen at, at, at the lab? Yes, waiting for Which the lab was this? Quest. Quest. Because this office didn't have the um, papers faxed. Mm -hmm. So I had to call. It still wasn't faxed after 30 minutes. So I called back. And then it finally got faxed, and I'm just like, it should have been faxed. You're right. When she called me that day. You're right. Do so, you know, who did you speak with? I don't know. <laughs> but it's just frustrating. Everything you're saying is 100% correct. Uh -huh. I wish I could tell you this, this is the first time I've heard this complaint. It's unacceptable. Uh, it needs to be addressed. Um, uh, I'm going to look into it personally. Okay. okay. And uh, if it happens again, God forbid it happens again. But if it happens again, I want you to tell me again. Uh -huh. and, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hammering on this until it gets corrected. But there's no reason where someone in your condition has to wait to get an order. It should be there, ready for you. You're absolutely correct. Especially the day before. Correct. And you yeah. called in advance to let them know already, right? Uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I am so freaking tired. I'm tired. This is why I like drive throughs I'm fine. Can I get the combo lemon chicken? Combo, right? Yeah. You want the side or the side? On the side. And the then, side. yeah, the side. And then I want um, juice A. You want juice A? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it? Yeah. I'm going to go take off this makeup. And eat, and I need to do my eye drop, but I'm finally back home. Yes, 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 yes. I look so tired because I am. I hate late appointments. Comment down below and let me know is it just me? Because, me personally, I prefer early morning appointments. Do you prefer late appointments or early morning appointments? or midday appointments like i don't know but i usually prefer my appointments to be around 10 10 10 30. i hate to have appointments for two o'clock my day is pretty much over by then i'm tired by then okay but uh yeah let me know because i just want to know like which one do you, you prefer again it's just preference but you know, I just prefer to have early morning appointments to just get it over okay, with. So this is my food. Also with it. I'm so hungry and so when tired. I tell y'all, y'all don't know how sleepy I am. It's on 10. Like I'm very tired. I'm very tired. But don't ask me why I'm in this great wig. I was just Putting on the show on Snapchat. If you don't already follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat.
follow me on Snapchat. Like, you missing out. You're missing out. But I might um, go ahead and insert some of the clips after this if I remember to save them. But, yeah. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I need to go to bed because I need to try to get up for rehab. I need to try to make it at least tomorrow. I it's feeling a little irritated. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's causing that. But it, it's actually looking way better. But it's just feeling a little more irritated. I really need to get that stuff for it. You know, maybe it's the oxygen because I did have to increase it a little. Go ahead and go ahead and shower and get to bed and end. Go ahead and do my diary entry for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. And yeah. Now look, man, I told you I don't want that goddamn phone in my face like that now. Today, I learned and thought to myself, Asha, you really need to give yourself more credit. Your regular life is a challenge in itself. Yeah, you have some help from family and friends, and I can't express how thankful I am for that. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I look back and say, God, how in the world did you get through that? I'm saying that to say, give yourself more credit. You're amazing. Some of you are amazing mothers dealing with conditions. Some of you are working, holding it down full time. Some of you are even caring for someone with an illness that's very, very sick. And it takes us to be very, very strong to deal with these type of things. And for those of you who aren't going through anything health-wise, but may still be going through life things. We're all still here. We're all still sane. And we're making it happen and we're holding it down. We're holding on to our hope and we're holding on to our faith. And with that, God is proud of us. God, I want to thank you for today. Amen.